how's everybody doing today? I hope you all had a really good weekend. Mine was pretty good. Over it, I have some plants in my yard that are spreading like crazy, so I was transplanting a bunch of them. Some of them were spreading themselves by rhizomes, and some are spreading themselves by runners, also known as stolons. And while I was doing that, that's what gave me the idea for this video, because the difference between the two can actually be a really confusing concept sometimes, and pretty difficult to tell the difference between. I've even found that when you look up some plants online, sometimes um, certain websites are claiming them to be spreading by runners, when really it's by rhizomes, and vice versa. So I figured I'd take a chance to go over that concept with you. Don't worry, stay in tune with me, I will bring you in close. I have some examples of some plants that I dug up to show you in person exactly what the difference is. And pretty much rhizomes and runners are both a plant's way of spreading themselves through asexual reproduction. It's their way of making exact clones of the mother plant until they're able to seed or do whatever they're going to do to produce new mothers for the next season. The difference between the two is pretty much how the stem is going to modify itself in order to create that brand new clone of itself. A uh, runner is going to do it by a specific stem that it's going to send out, and a rhizome is going to do it by its own stem. So I'm going to bring you in sh close and show you the rhizome. So a lot of different plants will grow by rhizomes. A couple of these will include irises, which spread really well, will grow that way. The mint that completely takes over your yard grows that way. And most types of ferns grow that way. We have ferns all over our yard, so I dug up a bunch here to show you exactly what I mean. So if we turn it over and we dig out where they're spreading themselves, we've got a nice one actually sticking out right here. You can see there, make sure that you can still see, you can still see, you can see here how it's its own stem. The stem of the fern, let's call this the mother plant, it's probably a clone, but call this the mother plant, comes down and just continues itself over and sends up another plant. Continues itself over and it'll keep doing that. As you can see, it goes all over the place. And it's its own specific stem. Rhizomes will pretty much always be just below the surface of the soil to a couple inches down. They may grow right inside the soil so you can almost see them from above the soil without digging, but they're usually just underneath. And you can see how it's always the same stem that's going over. They're usually a lot thicker than runners are. They'll have little hairy roots all along it to anchor itself into the ground as it's looking to start up a new plant. And if you're trying to separate these to transplant them, you could easily take where two are and you can just split that right apart and replant. Oh. Sorry about that guys. And replant it and it'll continue to do the same. And then, okay, I wanna make another plant. So let me break these apart and I'm gonna plant this in a pot and I'm gonna plant this one in a pot and those will continue to do the same and start to spread themselves into new patches. And then we can talk about the runner. When the runner does it, as I was saying earlier, it's gonna send out its very own stem that's specifically just for making the clone of its plant. So it's gonna send it over the top of the ground and it's gonna search around until it finds a place in the ground that it really feels comfortable and feels like it's a good place to grow. And then it's gonna dig itself in, it's gonna anchor itself, produce some new roots and produce a whole new clone of that mother plant. And then it's gonna do it again. and spread over entire areas. That tends to happen a lot with a lot of different types of ground covers will grow that way. Things like periwinkle, which I'll bring you in close and show you now. So here we are with a big mess of periwinkle to show you what I mean about how they grow by runners and how they make a mess. If you see, we may have a big mother plant here. Let me separate this out so you can see better. Right here we have a little cluster, and that's your little mother plant. It's got its own main stems coming up, producing its vegetation. And then it comes down, and from its roots, 
It sends it's out its very own specific stem that's specifically for producing a new plant that's right here. When it comes over, it found a place to anchor itself, and it created all this, a whole new plant that's an exact clone of itself. Then it does it again. Oh, here we go. It wants to come this way. So it sent out another stem. Produced another mother. Or, not another mother, another clone of the mother. And anchored itself. And it will just keep doing that. It figured out that it could go this way and this way. So it sent out a stem. Produced another clone. It also, back to the same clone, sent out another stem all along the top of the ground. Until it find a place, this one's a little longer, looking, looking, looking. It found another place and produced a whole mess of clones. And it will just keep doing this until it covers an entire area. And that's the difference, is if you see how much thinner this is, how it really, really searches for a place to re-anchor itself. Finds it, makes an anchor, produces a new plant. So it's never the actual stem of that clone or that mother. It's sending out its very own specific stem to do it with, rather than that rhizome like I was showing you in the fern. We'll actually bring two of them together. Is the stem of the plant. It's modifying itself to be able to spread over and create more asexual re reproduction. Hey guys, so that is the difference between the two. I hope that you enjoyed this little video. If you have any questions or comments, please definitely let me know below. I'll do my best to answer anything and to get back to you as soon as you can. And as always, thank you so much for joining us and we will see you in the next one.